Hello, hello everyone. This is Vonda with O'Neill, your global success mentor that shares inspirational strategies for those that are desiring and seeking more. Good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever this video finds you. Y'all, it is the end of January. 2020 January is already done. It's already done. Y'all, those that are listening to me on the podcast, this is episode number 14. You could join me at theonevonell.podbean.com and at Apple Podcasts for those that are listening in episode number 14. It's time to take action. Action is required and it's required now. That's what this topic is going to be about today. So, I want to share with you guys that old, old, old Bible verse, faith without works is dead. Y'all, we came into 2020 with high expectations. We came into 2020 saying, oh, I got a vision, I got a plan, and I got to do this. And it is the end of January. Have you done some of those things on your plan? Have you stepped out and even tried to secure some spots to make sure some of those goals on your plan for 2020, your 2020 vision was going to happen. If you haven't, you got to take action. Action is required now and it's required today. Faith without works is dead. A lot of people say, oh, I got faith that it's going to happen. But if you don't do the work, it's not going to happen. You have to do the work. You got to do your part. You got to get out there and you got to do the grass fruit. You got to get out there and research. You got to get out there and network. You got to put yourself out there on faith. You got to put yourself out there on faith. Sometimes we have part-time faith. We got faith only when we can see it. Only when we can see it right there. But you know what? You got to have faith and you got to have a vision that exceeds all the way out there. You got to have faith where it is the unseen faith. You don't even see how it's going to happen. You don't even understand how in the world it will come about. But you know it will. That's the type of unseen faith that you got to have. You got to put that action in. You got to get ready for the things to come before they even come. You got to be ready at the beginning. You got to be ready. You got to be on point. You got to be ready. And a lot of us are not ready because we can't even see it for ourselves. A lot of us are not even even thinking that, you know, it could even happen to us. It's like the lottery. You know, that ain't going to never happen to me. I'll never win. But you got to envision and you got to see it happening for you before you even see it. Yeah, I said that. You got to see it happening before you even see it. Um, a student of mine said the day wrote a quote that you may be having a bad day or something on that, but within every day is something good that's in it. So instead of looking at the bad thing, you got to pull out that good thing, even though you don't see the good. It's good that you woke up. We forget about that. Even though you don't see any good in it, but you got your health, you got your strength, you got activity of all your limbs. You got to pull out the good out of the bad. I need you to take action. I need you to step out on faith. I need you to believe. I need you to know. I need you to jump out there. Get you a box, a, a piece of paper, and, and get you a box and write a box on it. Outside of that box, I want you to put things that you would like to do that you don't even think is possible. And I want you to watch those things happen. Yeah, that's what I said. I want you to put things outside that box on that piece of paper that you don't even think could even happen and watch it happen. Watch it happen. Because if you write it down and make it plain, he said he'll make it come forth. But sometimes we don't even take the action to even do the basics. Y'all, we got to take action. 
You got to start filling that schedule up. I talked to you before about the 2020 schedule. Start filling your schedule up. I went and got me a new planner. I went and got me a new planner. You get you a planner anywhere. Get you a planner and start writing in dates on things that you want to happen. Watch God put people in your path to make those things happen. But you got to start taking action. You got to start thinking about what is it that I want to do? Where is it that I want to go? How can I go outside of that and exceed that? You got to take action. You can't just sit around as a couch potato and watch and hope that things will happen for you. You got to roll over and get up. You got to push yourself. Now, you already know this. This is nothing new. This ain't nothing that ain't nobody told you. I'm not saying nothing that ain't nobody already told you. That your mama ain't told you, your auntie ain't told you, your cousins, your husband, your boo. I ain't saying nothing that ain't nobody already told you. But I'm going to tell you again, it is the end of January. And if you haven't already written your goals down, and if you haven't already booked your schedule, you need to do it now. You need to do it today. You need to, as soon as this video is over, you need to sit down and say, okay, Lord, where do you want me to go? Guide me. Give me a vision of where you want me to go, what you want me to do. Put people in place. Remove the people, but you got to be okay with that being removed. Because you can say stuff, and he knows if you're saying stuff and you're really not sincere about it. He knows if you'd be like, yeah, Lord, remove him, but you don't want him removed. You have to put the action in place. Steve Harvey mentioned it before. He said he had a car in the garage, and I think I talked to you guys about this on the podcast, but he had a car in the garage, so it's taking up space. If you want a new car, you got to remove the old things so that you can make room for the new. Whatever you want to do, go ahead, take action now because it's out there. Y'all, I am just super excited about this year. I am going to be in Atlanta, yes, the ATL, on um, the 8th through the 10th for the Bonner Brothers Show. Please come check me out at 10 o'clock on that Sunday in room 201. I'm going to be talking to you about marketing and branding your business. 155 ways that I have for you to market your business. Free, 155 ways to freely and successfully market your business. Come meet me in the ATL on, on the weekend coming up the 8th, 9th, and 10th. Y'all, if you're ready to step out, if you're ready to take action, you got to start putting yourself in place. You got to start putting yourself at them conferences. You got to start putting yourself at them vendor events. You got to start putting yourself out there. Yes, it's uncomfortable. It's, it's uncomfortable. It's not easy. But you got to get ready and you got to start putting yourself out there. The more you do it, the more comfortable you'll be. But you got to do it. Catch me there. Y'all, I done went outside that box, outside them four corners. I am running for District, elect, District 11 um, DPT, DPEC. The Democratic Party Executive Committee, the DPEC for District 11. Y'all, if you are in my district, please go out and vote for me. I am doing grassroots. I'm finessing flyers. I'm going out there. I'm knocking on doors. I'm going to go out there and make it happen because I want to make a change in my community. There are some things going on in my community. The homeless level is increasing. The crime is increasing. I want to do my part and making some changes. I've been working with organizations for years. I've been doing community service for years. I've been helping people, giving to people. I want to take this and take it to the next level within my community and within my Democratic Party. April the 4th, my name, Trevanda Henderson, will be on the ballot number 206, 206 on the ballot for DPEC for District 11. Go press that button. On the 4th, go press that button. Early voting, go press that button. And select me and elect me as District 11 DPEC member. Please, get out there and vote. Make your voice heard. Because you know what? There's some changes that has to be done in our neighborhoods, in our communities, 
in our cities, in our states, in this country. Go out there and make your vo revolt and your voice be heard. Thank y'all for listening. And this is episode number 14 on Apple Podcasts and on the onevonel.podbean.com. Thank you. Thank you for hanging out and catching the 811 with Vonda, your global success mentor. See, I'm speaking it into existence. Your global success mentor that shares inspirational strategies for those like you that are desiring and seeking more. I am super excited. Check out this episode 14 on the podcast. And thank you for your support. Thank you for always listening and watching. Follow me at The One Vonell on all of social media. And you can find me at Vote for Trevonda Henderson on Instagram and on Facebook because I'm always posting things, sharing information because I love my city and I want to do whatever I can to help improve my community and my city. I am committed to my community. Y'all have an awesome, awesome Friday. Be blessed. Peace.